Hey, I'm Mike Donaro, Galleon Marine, and today I'm going to show you how to calibrate the autopilot on a Garmin Reactor 40 autopilot system. Um, the current Garmin system, or any of the Reactor systems, is uh, really very simple to set up and use. When you install it, the first time you fire the thing up, you're going to get prompted. Run the autopilot wizard on your MFD, as well as the sea trial wizard will come up on the autopilot screen itself. If you've fired up the boat and you've just hit later here and, and, it, and that screen's gone, if you want to get it back, simply home, settings, my vessel, autopilot installation setup, then it'll, it'll say, it'll warn you, you're about to screw up your boat if you don't know what you're doing. So you hit okay. And right here you go to wizards and sea trial wizard. So what we're gonna do is follow the on-screen instructions. I'm gonna begin. First thing it's gonna tell me to do is use the throttles to determine at which speed the boat transitions from a displacement hull to planing. So, so what your actual planing RPM is, um, or your planing speed. On this boat, it's 14 mile an hour. I know that because I've done this boat 100 times. Next. Maximum speed, I set to 46. Next. Now it'll say turn the boat one and a half times in either direction. Begin. The important thing with this is you can go in either direction, but it wants it smooth and calm. On a really windy, messy day where the boat's rolling and tumbling, uh, it will not give you a good uh, reading. This is calibrating the actual heading sensor inside the compass. Um, so it's a very important calibration. It actually gives you a calibration number when you're done to tell you the quality of the calibration. That number has to be over 72. If it's under 72, you do it again. If you can't get it at over 72, you actually have to relocate the, the computer, the onboard computer, the course computer. Uh, its location is absolutely vital to this system working well. So let's just see what we got. All this stuff can also be done on the little screen, but it's way more convenient and easy to do it on the main screen. So we're turning, we're turning, watching the progress bar, watching the water around us. Quality, calibration quality 75, successful. Good, on to the next one. So now it's gonna say, bring the engines to a constant RPM below planning speed. The, au the autopilot will put the boat in a zigzag. This is Garmin's auto tuning. This is exactly why what makes Garmin's system better than the Navico equivalent and the Raymarine equivalent? Because the auto tuning system is unbelievable. So constant RPM below planing speed. I'm gonna look at the waters around, begin. Now the boat's gonna zigzag. Now, around here, I've had to change course a couple of times and start and stop this because it's gotten me too close to the edge of the river. So we'll see what happens here. What the boat is doing is determining how much voltage it has to apply to the autopilot motor in order to change the heading a certain number of degrees. Remember, we've just calculated, or we just calibrated the heading sensor. So it's, it's determining, okay, it takes this much power to turn the boat this much at this speed. A very important thing. This is what's gonna prevent the boat from drifting when you're trying to follow a straight line. It's just gonna know, oh, all I have to do is this. It's not gonna overshoot the line. So here we go, here we go, we're getting close, 86. I don't like where we're headed right now. Three, boom, success, okay. Getting into Deadhead Central over there. All right, so that's good. Next, this is where it's set in true north. It's gonna say, bring it to a constant cruising speed and uh, it asks for at least 45 seconds of hazard-free water. We're on the Fraser River, there's no such thing, so we're gonna hope for the best here. Yeah. Now it's going to set true north. Success. Done. So now we have a fully calibrated autopilot. Let's go back. So now what we do is we test it. We our chart screen, nav chart. And I'm going to tell it I want to go behind us. Back here, go to, it's gonna ask me to engage the autopilot. Yes, engage. Now let's see what happens. Computer's determining we gotta turn, and it's turning. Now this was kind of an unfair test. I'm asking for it to do a total U-turn in the river. So 
well, that's probably a shitty test because it's going to put us into the into the land. These systems are not a replacement for a captain. It's an aid for a captain. So I came off the throttle, allowed it to make the corner, but it is determining that we have to go in that direction. Even though the line that I had set from that side of the river was a direct line, it's just putting us on the easiest point from here to get to its destination. It's a very, very intuitive and smart system. There it goes, it's putting us right on it. The heading looks bang on, the boat's not drifting or sideways on the screen. All is well, I'm happy with that. We've just calibrated our autopilot and tested it effectively. I'm Mike Canardo, thanks for joining us.